Once you have a plan in place, what you need to do is identify what are those key indicators which will help you keep grounded, keep focused, to be able to identify what's working, what's not working. What are these indicators? You must have heard KPIs. KPIs are nothing but key performance indicators. These are those measures which will tell you whether you're on track with your business plan or are you, are you in the need for a course correction. So a key performance indicator needs to actually very closely be connected with what you're trying to do in your business plan. Let me give you some examples of key performance indicators. Suppose your business needs to do a revenue of 10 million. So the annual sales turnover is your key performance indicator. Suppose you want to achieve the business at a profit of 15% EBIT. This is a key performance indicator. So a key performance indicator is something that gives you a measure of where you are and how you are progressing against it. Now that you have your key performance indicators identified, the next step that you need to do is identify what are those key result areas. For example, you defined sales turnover. Now sales turnover is a figure, a number, but the key result area related to this is generate sales. So generate sales by itself is a result and a key performance indicator is a measure of whether that result is achieved or not. If this concept is clear, we are okay to move to the next step. So key performance indicators and key result areas are defined at a broad level as far as the company is concerned. How do you move forward? Each key, key result area could then be mapped into departments. You could say that, for example, this key result area of generate sales maps onto the sales department of the company. Produce goods at a certain level of quality. This goes to the operations and the production teams. Make sure that statutory commitments are made towards taxation. This maps to the finance department. So the key result areas can then be mapped onto each department and each department could then have a list of top seven or eight key result areas. So all the key result areas put together will help you achieve the business plan that you have developed. Now each key result area could have one or more key performance indicators linked to it. For example, generate sales is a key result area. Sales turnover is a key performance indicator. Now, your sales department has identified four territories, say North, East, West and South. Sales in the North region, sales in the South region are two separate KPIs. So you have a KPI at an organization level and then it gets broken down into a KPI at a regional level. However, all of them are still mapped on to the KRA called Generate Sales. This repeats for all the departments. So you could have a key result area related to uh, production in a factory. That key result area could have multiple key performance indicators mapped to it. This is an important concept for you to understand because now that the KPIs have been defined in greater detail, you could move on to mapping the KPIs to individuals. For example, your sales in the North region may be done by one person and sales in the South is done by another person. So you have two different KPIs and each one maps onto a different person. Remember that though there are multiple KPIs within the same key result area, all of them together would map up to the same department head. So sales north, sales south, sales east and sales west 
together total up to the total sales of the organization which become the KPI of the department head. When you've completed this activity of mapping the KPI to the individuals, you can now say that you're done with the goal setting. You have mapped the KPI, there are certain targeted numbers which total up to your business plan and these are mapped to individuals. There is a goal which has been set for the entire company and it has been cascaded down to each individual. You could go into more details by making this target broken down into quarters and months if that's the way you operate. This establishes a great deal of clarity for the entire organization on what is expected out of whom right at the beginning of the, the assessment period or the financial year.